Today is the day of the dreaded event. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We've created for you access over 503 episodes of Life's Inside Track, where we share insider tips, making house home, growing or building wealth, I guess both of those things, and how to have life exponential. Great news is you get what you need when you need it from the comfort of your home, office, or on the go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Yetsy Doodle Noodle. (laughs) Happy birthday to you. Uh, Thank you. Yes, that's the dreaded event, folks. It is the dreaded event. Birthdays and and anniversaries. Okay, but really, this is my birthday. Yeah, I know. The day we air this, or the day we are here with you, is actually my... August 27th. 59th birthday. Oh, you said that out loud. I was not going to go there. You know I'm quite (laughs) eager to share that. It doesn't matter to me because here's the reality. It's a better day than if I weren't here to enjoy the birthday with you. Well, that's true. Right? So 59 today. If you're watching a replay, it won't be today. It's probably not August 27th, 9th. The 19. <laughs> oh, that shows my age. 2021. I have been around since the 1900s, though, obviously. <laughs> so the dreaded event yeah. can actually be a birthday, not because I worry about aging, because clearly that is Although a good some thing. Do. I know some do. For me, that's not why I would consider it potentially the dreaded event or why you would consider my birthday yeah. maybe a dreaded event. Or an anniversary. Or um, anniversary or, sometimes or graduation. Commer- or sometimes commercial events like Valentine's. Or and- even Easter or Christmas or Thanksgiving. So what is it that makes it dreaded? Well, okay. What could make it dreaded ah. is the level of expectation we might have. So there was a time when my expectations would have been through the roof around my birthday. And maybe they weren't actually, actually, I'm going to take that back. They weren't through the roof. (laughs) I just had some expectations and the expectations were not satisfied. Uh It was kind of like, yeah, okay. Happy birthday to you. This song was lovely. I didn't (laughs) know it was coming. So I was a little like quiet for a moment, which I know no one's all that used to. Uh, And yet, expectations is what always got in the way because if I didn't have a high level of expectation or any expectation then it wouldn't really matter what was coming at me yeah and it can be high or low yes for instance you know there was the time where I was working retail I was exhausted I was done I didn't like my job anymore I was on my way home I got in the house all I wanted to do was sit down Maybe veg in front of the TV or have a nice meal. Just relax, right? It was your 27th birthday. Is that which one I it was? I think so. I put it out of my memory. Because Jetta, for weeks prepared, yeah. made this ginormous ice cream six cake. Six of them. Six ice cream cakes, all layered, different flavors, handmade with the crust and everything and the drizzling. and I, yeah. Oh, my goodness. A lot of work. Then she invited over, I don't know, 40, 50 people. 60. And I and I and she goes, Why don't you go down and relax in the basement? I go, Great idea. I walk into the basement and there's like 40 or 50 people yell, surprise! And I'm going, Oh that was not a good surprise. No, he actually I left had to the leave. Room. I had to <laughs> leave and go upstairs. <laughs> go ga- I had to go gather my my uh, whatever, because I was still angry and emotional from the day and whatever. I just, it was not a good situation. So t- expectations <laughs> could be I have none and I got something I didn't want or I had some and I didn't get what I wanted. Yeah. And you know what else I find with your expectations? And maybe it's the same with you, our listener, that if I do things on the day of that might appear like it wasn't prepared or thought through, like even wrapping the gift on the day of your birthday, or, or better yet, or buying it, or better yet, okay, the wrong card. 
Well, the wrong card. Well, that's that ha that can happen to anybody, ladies and gentlemen. So, for a birthday, you get a Mother's Day card, or for Valentine's, you Valentine's, get a birthday card. No, Valentine's, you got a Mother's Day card. It happened oh, I once. Know. I had both cards in my drawer on my nightstand, and I pulled it out, and the front was just beautiful. And so I just signed it. I didn't read the sentiment inside. And so, yeah, you got a Mother's Day card for Valentine's Day. And maybe you've done something <laughs> similar, a birthday card, and you should be sending a sympathy card because you're just not totally present to what you're yeah. sending in the moment. Yeah, and if I had prepared, prepared earlier, mm. right, gone shopping earlier, thought about, because it's the thought behind the gift, not necessarily the gift, mm, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. And so when I run out on your birthday, expecting, oh, it's okay, we're not celebrating till the evening, I can go buy a cake, I can go buy a gift and, you know, wrap it or whatever. For some reason, that affects your pleasure my appreciation of the gift sure uh-huh or um, no not so much the gift because acts of service and quality time are important to you so if i'm using your birthday day yeah to go run around to get things accomplished for your birthday then you don't have quality time with Well, that. and the gig is I'd like a birthday month anyway, and it shouldn't start on the day. <laughs> it should start at least a week early. Of and course. yet, have you ever noticed that when it comes to expectations, that if they're met or even exceeded, you might not notice. You might just, because I know I've been guilty of this, just, oh, well, that's what I expected. So it's all, eh, well, you don't all even notice. Hum, and so you don't long, even yeah. really notice. Yeah, you don't and notice so, because exactly right. what you wanted, you got. Right. And so it's no big deal. Right. Now, if you get more than what you wanted, maybe it's a big deal. But if you get less than you wanted. Right. But I guess what I want. Right. But I think we have a tendency to not even acknowledge or appreciate with the gratitude that it deserves the person deserves when we got what we expected. And the yeah. best way to get what you expect is ask for what you expect. Yes. Right? Oh, that's an amazing thing. Because if you say, I don't want a surprise party, then I'm not going to make a surprise party for you. Uh, you're going to take me at my word. Yeah. So I think each person here has some sense of responsibility right. of owning their choice and then speaking mm. to what they really would like rather than go, oh, it's okay. I don't need anything. It's fine. Uh, I got another one, Yara. You don't enjoy eating out as much as having me cook something and eating in. So right. I might take you out for your birthday because that's I what know. I enjoy. I know. And you don't enjoy it. I don't. So it would be way better for me to meet your expectation, come home early with some groceries, make a nice meal, and, uh, you know, maybe do the daily thing, like rub your feet, have you relax, give you a massage. You do that you know? every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> so maybe you could see yourself in some of these stories or think of other times where you have been uh, disappointed because your expectations weren't met. And it happens on any day of the year, not just on the dreaded celebratory days, except I think our expectations are higher that those days. They're, They're heightened. heightened. Yep. And so it can get us into a lot of trouble. So I've started anticipating good things without an expectation attached. Ooh. And that's <clears throat> been really helpful. Anticipation of a good thing mm -hmm. happening and then being surprised when it does. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I'll let you know how this day finishes up, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> because I think he hasn't even said happy birthday yet other than that song. So just, you know, I'm obviously in a pretty good mood still. <laughs> Thanks for the privilege of serving you and being on the journey with you to having a better life, more vibrant relationships, and great success in your businesses. We're honored to be your partners. Moving forward with the Decker Team Moving forward together with the Decker Team